Hi, this is Eric with the John Miller Real Estate team here at Keller Williams Realty. And today we're going to talk about bank-owned properties, also known as foreclosures, and what the process is like when a buyer is purchasing a bank-owned property. Um, first off, bank-owned properties happens when a, a owner of a property can't make their payments for some reason. The bank that's owed the money on the property, they foreclose on the property. Now, once they've completed the foreclosure proceedings, they are going to hire a real estate agent company to list and sell that property for them. And you know, one of the biggest misunderstandings that I hear out there um, from buyers is that where are the bank owned properties? Those are the best deals. Well, to be honest with you, uh, the bank owned properties, they're listed just like any other home by a real estate agent company. So they, everyone, they're not a secret. Um, the, there's no secret list of bank owned properties. Every single agent has access to all the bank owned properties that are on the market, okay? Now, when you're going to purchase a bank owned property, the way the process is different is just like any other property, if you, if it's your favorite property or one of your favorites, you put in the offer, okay? The bank is usually not gonna get back to you till five to seven days later with someone that's been assigned to that file, and then they will begin bartering with you on the price, okay? Um, once you've come to an agreement on what you will pay for the property, they're not going to sign the offer that you sent into them. That's just kind of something that's used as a starting point to start the negotiations. They're going to come right back to you with the purchase and sale, okay? So that's gonna happen um, once they accept your offer, and then you're gonna have 48 to 72 hours to sign this uh, boilerplate purchase and sale that they use for every bank owned property that they have. And the purchase process, it's a very non-consumer friendly process because that boilerplate purchase and sale is gonna have terms that benefit the seller quite a bit. Now, let me give you an example of one of the things that's in every bank owned purchase and sale that I have seen. Say you are to close on the property within 30 days. The bank is gonna have in that contract that if you don't close in 30 days, they are gonna charge you a $100 penalty every single day for over 30 days. My experience is I've never seen them charge that. I've spoken to real estate agents that have been a part of over 1,000 real estate transactions with bank owned properties and they have never seen them charge that. That is something that's in there simply to get you to the closing table as fast as possible. Uh, so that's just one example. You can make no changes to the purchase and sale. If you sat down with an attorney, they would probably make some recommendations that you would change some things, but it's really, unfortunately, it's something that you can't make any changes to. The other thing that's different is after the purchase and sale is signed, unlike a traditional sale, um, the, the inspection process is after the purchase and sale has been signed. So once you sign this purchase and sale, there's still gonna be something in that purchase and sale that says you have seven to 10 days to complete an inspection of the property. If there's something wrong with the property, you can, number one, you can back out of the transaction. You could request that the bank do something to the property if it's damaged. Very rarely does the bank do anything. It's almost always sold as is. Number three, you could ask them to come down in price. That does some, happen sometimes where they'll agree to do that. Um, in fact, I recently had a transaction where we were able to get the, um, the bank down by over $20,000. It was a major problem. We found out the septic was, was failed. Um, so it's, once you're, you sign that purchase and sale, it's not like that's the end all be all. You still have the opportunity to back out of the contract. Um, so that's in a nutshell how the bank owned uh, properties work. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. All the contact information should be below. Uh, and if you ever want to get together or know anybody in, in the market to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, be sure to have them give me a call or contact me and I'd be happy to um, help out any way I can. Have a great day.